Alright guys, what's up? Um, new firmware for uh, PSP uh, 1000. Um, this also works because uh, the custom firmware 637 doesn't work with 1000 models. Um, so this will be for the PSP 1000, the uh, 2000 version 2 with the uh, T87 motherboard, PSP 3000, and PSP Go. Um, the firmware video that I uploaded the other day, it was about uh, 635 Pro A. Now what you needed to do was be on official firmware 635, use the 635 Pro Hen to enable the homebrew environment, and then update with Pro A, um, the homebrew updater, which uh, locks in the custom firmware so you don't have to use Hen every single time you turn your fucking PSP on. So um, here we go, we're going to use the PSP 1000 for the example. And uh, grab this USB cord here. So uh, let's get down to business. Uh, things, two things, well, three things I'm gonna have for download. Um, first thing is the uh, 635 Pro Hen, which is right here. Um, the other thing I'm gonna have for you to download is the uh, 635 PVP, the official firmware. I'll have that for download, and this right here the 635 Pro B custom firmware. So what we're gonna do is uh, take the PSB here and um, <clears throat> I'm gonna reset the device. I have this running on 635 Pro A so I'm gonna reset the device to get the uh, homebrew environment disabled and everything. So, uh, so what we're gonna do now um, you have to be on 635 official firmware so just to check that, you can go and you can see 635, maybe, I don't know. I'm not really good at pointing things at this webcam. So version 635, that's what your firmware should say. Um, if you're on custom firmware and you want to update the 635 official firmware, just uh, take the 635 PVP that I have for download here, put an update folder in the PSV game folder, copy that in there and rename it as eboot.pvp um, and uh, you'll be good and be able to install the official firmware. So we're running on 635. Um, if you're on 637 official firmware, you need to get the 637 hen, activate the homebrew environment with that, and then you're going to need to use uh, some kind of downgrading software. Uh, I will make videos on that. Um, like if you have a PSP 1000 or 2000 or something like that, you can use a Pandora battery to install custom firmware just to downgrade it and uh, then update to official firmware 635 and then use this uh, but I wouldn't see why you would unless you were on official firmware to begin with anyways um, <clears throat> yeah so I'm just gonna connect this USB cable in and uh, just gonna plug this in like so so PSP is uh, in USB mode now. So uh, first things first, what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to computer and you're gonna open up the removal drive for your PSP's memory stick. Open up the PSP folder and open up the game folder and leave it at that. Now, uh, after you've updated to official firmware 635 by using the 635 PVP, extract the files for the 635 Pro Hen and. Uh, if you don't have an extraction program, right click on that and extract files to your desktop. Uh, same thing with any kind of zip or RAR format file. Um, and you're going to see an eboot in here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your PSP's game folder in the memory stick and you're going to right click and you're going to create a new folder like so. Right? I've already done that and rename it as 635 Pro Hen, all in capital letters. And you're just going to simply drag and drop that eboot into that uh, 635 Pro Hen folder in the PSP game folder. Now, you can see I've already done that, so we're going to go back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to see the 635 Pro Update folder. Um, oh, yeah, well, this is the Pro A update that I have, so I'm just going to simply delete that out of there because I don't need it anymore. And what you're going to do is the download file that I have for 635 Pro B, you're going to extract those files as well and open that up and you're going to see 635 Pro Update. What you're going to do now 
is you're going to drag and drop that into the PS game folder and let that copy over. Shouldn't take too long, especially if you're running on Windows 7. <clears throat> All right, so now that that's done, you can now exit this out, and we're going to review a little bit here. We're on official firmware 635 on a PSP 1000 model all the way to a PSP Go, and um, we have the ProHen, uh, the 635 ProHen folder in the PSP game folder with the eBoot, and the 635 Pro update in the PSP game folder as well. So we're just going to disconnect USB mode here. <clears throat> and we're going to go over and we're going to check our firmware one more time to make sure that we're on 635 and we are so we're going to scroll over to the game category and go to the memory stick and you're going to look for the 635 hen by coldbird and vf you're going to start that up once that has started up like so you're just simply going to wait the screen is going to be black for about like five seven seconds something like that so just wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so seven, eight seconds, something like that. So if you scroll over to your firmware now, you can scroll down to system information and you will see that it says 635 Pro instead of version 635. So that means the homebrew, was, the, uh, the homebrew environment has successfully been enabled. Now what you're gonna do is go over to the game categories again on the memory stick and boot up the 635 Pro B updater so start that <coughs> now if you try and do this before you enable the homebrew you're gonna get that the data is corrupt that's fine that's normal because your homebrew hasn't been enabled yet and you're gonna see a screen come up it's gonna say 635 Pro B by cold bird and VF press X to launch the custom firmware so hit X and then it's just going to do a whole bunch of shit with a flash zero and you just press X to start the custom firmware. <clears throat> now that we've done that, the custom firmware is up and running. If you hit select, you should see a VSH menu. So, we can now go over to our firmware and check it and you will see that your MAC address will now be hidden and it'll say 635 Pro B for your custom firmware. So that's that. And uh, I've had I had ISOs on this memory stick and they will all if you have ISOs on your memory stick, they will come up now. And you, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So that's the new custom firmware 635 Pro B. I will have download links to the Pro Hen Pro B and the official firmware eBoot 635. And um, yeah, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe. You got any questions, guys, uh, leave me a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to reply and any recommendations for any other videos you would like to see, just leave a comment on my channel page and I will get back to you ASAP. So uh, yeah, enjoy the new custom firmware for PSP 1000, 2000, 2000 version 2, 3000 models, and the PSP Go. So. Um, yeah, take it easy guys and I'll talk to you later.